you've been uh, trying to expand in Europe and Japan. Uh, would you say you've been successful so far? I think Europe, uh, we have uh, made a lot of progress. I think um, it's uh, showing a lot of growth, good momentum. Um, if you look at the different European markets, namely the Nordics or uh, Benelux or Germany or France or Switzerland, or any one of these markets, even Spain, uh, we've got murky clients and we're building deeper relationships with these clients that shows in the growth and in the pipeline. Um, I think we are well poised to grow. In Japan, we've been uh, making a lot of effort. Uh, I think uh, we are at a point that we will start to show results. What do you need to do in Japan to show results? I think everywhere, it's, it's basically three or four things, right? First is we have to have murky clients who are leading companies in that market. Second is we need to have a delivery engine that satisfactorily delivers uh, all our offerings in those markets and these two are fundamental uh, then the talent the holistic talent that's required to serve that market we need to make sure that we have it in place and the financial model we need to make money so I mean, you have already made an acquisition in europe yeah. can we see one in japan soon no, we keep looking it's not uh, that we want to do it only now. I think we look at Japan, look at Germany, look at different markets. In all these markets, uh, we are always on the lookout for um, the right uh, company. And if uh, we think that it, it kind of provides a synergy and strategically it works better, we will go ahead and do it. So at the same time, we continue to focus on organic growth. Uh, we are not waiting to find a right target. And we may do an acquisition, we may not do an acquisition, but focus is uh, definitely in all these markets to grow business.